What is going on, everybody? How are you doing? My name's Josh. Howdy, howdy, I'm Sarah. We are born at home. Yes, we are. Sarah. Yes. Today is one of those days. One of those rare, exciting days in the right. board gaming world where your Kickstarter right. has been delivered. Oh, you know, yes. you've been waiting. It's been a couple of years. <laughs> you've been like... And then, and then you've had the notification. You've had the email. The, you, know, you know, you've got your tracking, tracking number. number. You've got the, you've got your, the, it's, it's on its way with the courier. You can feel it, your order refreshing. And lo and behold, what should arrive? Slay the Spire! I almost, if you, you know the gift with Jonah Hill, like freaking out, I almost want to do that. It's Slay the Spire. Just like that. Holy moly, yes. it's Slate Spy the board game. I feel like I've been waiting for this for a My long time. Life. I'm so excited. Before it was even a board game. Before it was even a board game, I wished it was. Yes. I, and to, to be fair, I was like, man, this would be so much fun to like to play, play real. in real in real time. And yet, and here it is, we're about it to. Is. Holy cow. So, Sarah. Yes. Have you ever played Slay the Spire, the video game? A few, a few times. You've dabbled. I've dabbled. dabbled. You've dabbled. <laughs> Multiple times. Mm -hmm. Rather a lot. Oh, Have yes. Have I beat the Spire? <laughs> That's another question. Oh, yes. Let's avoid that question and just say, have I played it? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. What about you? So, How Slay the Spire. How do you think you put in? Oh, I don't want to talk about that. That would be, so, that would be embarrassing for me to put up my playtime hours on the screen. So I might do it. <laughs> right. Now, here's the problem. And this is the thing that I talk about with Slay the Spire whenever I talk to people about it. I have played a little bit of Slay the Spire. I've played a smidge across three different consoles. I really love it. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm very good at it. Like- No, it's the same, yeah. I, I, I've played, I've, I've, I, it's second on my all-time list of games I've invested hours into, mm -hmm. and I still can't consistently beat Ascension 20. Like, I, no, I've I literally done it Ascension once one, so. with each character apart from the Watcher, and then that's it. Like, I can't get back there. <laughs> but I love it. I you love, still play it. It's uh, one of those games. You lose, but you're like, I'll play again. Yeah, I'll, play again. I'll just I don't totally go for another there, one. There are games... Particularly early noughties mm -hmm. games. Yes. Um, do you like the the Sonic and all those? Yeah. yeah I play it and I want to break the remote, throw it out of the window. I just like get so angry. I'm like, no, I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> the monopoly of video games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one is not like that. You play it, you lose, and you're like, ah. All right, I'll go again. There's always a lesson to be learned. There's yeah. always a lesson to be learned in a run of Slade Spy. But Sarah. Yes. What is Slay the Spire? For people who have never heard of Slay the Spire, mm -hmm. by PlayStation, by, and by PlayStation. It's, it's, it's on everything. Yeah. You can get it on your phone. I literally have it on my phone as well. <laughs> I have it on four consoles, I forgot. It is a deck building extravaganza. Mm -hmm. It's a, a dungeon crawler. It's a... Roguelike. Yes. So, every time you play this game, it is going to be different. Completely different. You're never going to play the same run twice. No. The cards that you have available, the characters you play, the monsters you fight, the events that you... You can't aim to play one way. No. So one thing, when you're trying to do the um, the PlayStation achievements mm -hmm. um, that you do, and you're like, right, I need to get this. Like, like I'm the, going the for the poison. poison. I'm going for the poison. <laughs> yeah. But you, you might play an entire game and never get a card with poison. That's you true. You have to just go with the flow. Go with what the cards give you. Man. Them. So there were two huge lessons that I got from playing Slay the Spire, right? Mm -hmm. When it came to deck building games in general. First is, you have to play the cards that you get. Yes. Like, you can't force play it. Can't in this game. It. You can't force a run, you can't force a type. No. you just got to play what you get. And second, and this was the hardest lesson for me to learn, <laughs> was when you get a card reward, you don't have to no. take a card. A thin deck 
is, is a, a good, good deck. deck. Like, these yeah. are the lessons that Slay the Spire has imparted on to me. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Sometimes if you don't like the cards or you're unsure, just don't, mm -hmm. it's okay to not add one to your deck. You've already got good cards in your deck. Exactly. Yeah. So, if you've never played Slay the Spire, like Sarah said, here's how it works. You are going to start your turn with three energy. Now, each card that you have in your hand has an energy cost. So I'm just going to bring up a basic strike card, right? Yeah. Now I'm just going to do this from memory. So, basic strike card, you can see in the top left it costs one. That's one energy yeah. to play. You play it, you spend your energy. It's got its text, artwork, and then what it does. So you can see there that it's an attack. And yeah. this also does one damage. So yeah. do a damage to an enemy. That's it. Other cards will have a cost of two or three. Other cards will be free. Mm -hmm. You can only play what you can what afford you to pay. Yeah, yeah, and then your turn's over. So you, it's not like a, you have this many turns. You have as many turns as you have energy. Play as many cards as you can to yes. do as many things as you want. Once again, you don't have to use all your energy. It's totally up to you. Uh, so that is a player card. Yeah. Right, we're going to be fighting enemies. We're going to talk about enemies as they as come they up are. because yeah. they have different activations. Some of them will activate depending on what dice you roll, mm -hmm. what number on the dice you roll at the start of the round. Some will just have actions that they do. Some will have what's called cube actions. We're going to go through all of that Everything. as we do it. But I want to get into it so bad. I want to play. We need a character. So to play. bad. There so are we need a four character. Four available characters. What we are they? Have the Ironclad, the mm -hmm. Watcher, the Silent, and the Defect. Okay. They Iron all play very differently. Yeah. As your warrior, your uh, tank, essentially. He strengthens and uh, nice. there's another there's another mechanic that he does that has escaped me. The Silent. Poisons and uh, discards. That's, that's their run. Defect okay. has magical orbs that are going to fire magic into you. Right? Or not to you, into the enemies. Yes. And the Watcher, who has different stances that are going to affect how the game is played. Mm. Uh, Wrath and uh, Calm. We'll talk about these if we get them. Sarah, please. So, I've got some cards. Are you going to pick first? Sided. No, you're going to pick first. I'm picking first? I'm shuffling. Yeah, I'm shuffle them under the table. table. Okay. Oh, I thought I dropped one then. I want... I want number one. And I want you to... Yep, okay, stop. Okay, I am playing as the Watcher. Do you know, we've randomly, we've played this game Few twice times. already and randomly assigned characters each time. This is the third straight time that I've played as the do Watcher. Do you want to swap No, it? I do not. And I'm, I'm going to get good with this character. The Ironclad. The Ironclad for Sarah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut down to the board. Yes. Do you know what Wayne's World? Must stop. They do the whole, and then yeah. Scooby-Doo. Anyway, welcome to the board. Yes. Here's Sarah. What am I looking at? So we've got the spire in the middle. Mm -hmm. You'll see it is missing sections, yeah. so that your um, your journey is always slightly different. It's also Act One is two sided, so you can turn it over. Yeah, slightly two sided board. Journey. I'm not sure if like one of them is a more difficult board. I, I'm really not sure, but they just. Does it have I'll just flip it. It does. The, this side doesn't have an extra... Um, an extra elite. Elite. Oh, Look, we, there's no elite there. Oh, we definitely want the bonus elite. Bonus elite. Oh, yeah, 100%. There you go. So, how do you set up the board? So, we will put these onto the board. You just shove them on. You put the green ones in the mm -hmm. green spots, the white ones in the white spots. Yeah, just and random then you them see up. See where where you've put stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, then while I'm doing this, you go through cards. Oh, I would love to do that. Okay, so over here we have our uh, player reference card. So this tells you how combat works. So the, the steps that you're going to take in a combat round, we're going to go through that a lot and repetitively until it's drummed into all of our heads. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your handy dandy, this is what the icons mean. Lots okay, icons. You, lots of icons. None of it's particular. None of it's particularly confusing. Like you, it all makes pretty good sense when you're reading through it. Uh, you've got your spire. Spire. Spy um, yeah, spire location guide. <laughs> Flip that bad boy over whenever you get to a shop. 
you've got your shop board. Is here. Yes, these little uh, loot bags here. Uh, when we get to a shop, you're going to lay out three relics, three potions. You can remove a card. You can buy three cards. Easy breezy. Next, you've got Niao's Blessings. The three-eyed whale will gift you some goodness at the start yeah, of your nice. run. Yeah. Uh, so they're just going to be a one-off at the first uh, first act. We're both going to get one. Then the decks can go back in the box. We've got boss relics. Get those after you defeat a boss. Regular relics. Get those at various times. Potions. Get same those. thing. Get those for rewards usually. Sarah, yeah. hit me with the other side. So we've got Act 1 Monsters, there mm -hmm. will be Act 2 and 3 Monsters. Uh, these are your, um, I was going to say minions, but summons. they're summons. So some of the monsters will say on the bottom that they um, they summons another monster. So you just look through that and find the monster it does. You don't um, shuffle. Yeah. Uh, you've got your bosses, so there's only a few, but you shuffle and just take one. You've got your question mark location, so an event, draw an event, see what happens. Yes. Then you've got what are these called your. Ah, um, uh, those are dazers. So when you get dazed, usually monsters, or occasionally daze you, you'll take that. So I'm just gonna bring up a daze. Yes. So you'll see there that when you get dazed, it goes on top of your draw pile. So you're just gonna put that on top of your draw pile. There's two key words there. One is unplayable. The other is ethereal. Unplayable means. You can't play it. You can't play it. Ethereal means when you, uh, because you can't play it, it stays in your hand. If you don't play it. Yes. If it's in your hand at the end of your turn, it goes back to the ether and you return it to the... You just mean the uh, game, it like turns to ash. Just like that. Like it was getting Thanosed. Yes. Carry on. What's next? So then you've got your status effects. If you uh, get status if you get status, you're going to get this. So, same thing. Enemies are going to say yeah. it, it, it'll afflict you with one of these cards. Whichever one it is afflicted you with is what, what you, you do. So, yeah. And then your curses. Mm -hmm. Occasionally you get curses. Quite Occasionally in like the events you might get cursed. Yes. Uh, you take one, it goes into your deck. Um, and, and that affects no your deck. They do and bad then things. we've got money and um, tokens off to the side. And then... For your very first encounter, you'll see right at the bottom of the board, mm -hmm. you start on a monster. So you have the choice of one of these four monsters here. Um, so you don't start with one of the Act 1 monsters, you start with your first encounter. Monster. Yes, you just randomly assign one of yes. those to each character as we start. And then the last thing we have to do before we collect our characters is we need to roll the dice and choose our Act 1 boss. Okay. So there are three bosses. I'm not going to turn them over because I don't want to know what they are yet. No. So uh, you can... Oh, <laughs> I just threw that at you. Yeah. Uh, so you can pick one if you like, but it does have dice on the back to randomly assign. Yeah. So here we go. Number five, please. Number five is the oh, blob thing we know slime. that's the slime. It's the giant so, slime. So they just slot in at the top there. There you go. And, and there we'll you go. see what they do afterwards. There's so we'll fire. go and get our characters. Be right back. Right. So here we go. We've got our player things all set up. Yes. We're just going to quickly run through. Uh, so each character has their own decks, like their own starter decks, their own reward decks, both Common, uncommon, in one big pile, yes. and rare in a smaller big pile. pile. Mm -hmm. You shuffle all those bad boys up, yes. and uh, the common and uncommon are going to get shuffled at the beginning of each act. The rare cards are only going to get shuffled one now, at the start of act one, yes. and then they're just going to stay sitting there, wanting you to pick from them. <laughs> okay, then... Uh, we all we have our starter decks. If you've played a deck builder before, you know how this works. Yes. You're gonna draw a hand of five cards, play those cards into your discard pile, uh, and then when your draw pile is empty, you're gonna shuffle your discard pile. Yes, and you don't keep any cards unless you uh, some cards you might be able to retain. Yes. Uh, but that will say specifically. So whatever you don't play, also unused goes cards through. go to the discard pile. Yes. Exactly. Do you so. Want to go through your character. First. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm playing as the Watcher, who, truth be told, Watches. evaluates my least played character. Now, I have uh, three unique things. Okay, first, at the start of each combat, I get a miracle token. At any point during the combat, uh, during my turn, I can cash in my miracle token 
for energy. And then it's sudden it's come back, I get another one blank. Yes. Okay, so that's what miracles do. Cash them in, get an energy. Uh, then, like we talked about, I have three different stances that I can take. I'm going to start combat in neutral, which has no uh, bonuses or negatives. It's just, just it's just, just is, just it's just you, just, just evaluating. Then you've got calm and you've got wrath. Uh, calm, when you enter calm, nothing happens. But when you leave calm and change from calm to neutral or wrath, yes. you get to energy. Okay, so awesome. Yes. Uh, wrath, the scariest of all. Uh, stances is you get plus one on your attacks what well, while you're in the wrath stance but if you finish your turn in wrath you take one damage okay so it's not as bad as in the game not as bad as is in the game it's true yeah, in the game it's much scarier so i have strikes and defends just as Four Sarah, we both have the exact same uh stats yeah on all, all the characters sat with Four um, strike and four defend. Now you went through the, the strike. Do you want yes. to just quickly go through defend? Oh yeah, sure. So one? here yes. is the generic defend that everybody has. Yes. Okay. So you can see up top, it is defend. It costs one. Uh, you, it's a skill, yeah. and then it uh, you get one block, and that's that's, it. that's what yeah. happens, right? So you get a block. You've got a track on your player board that does energy block and health. Yeah. You're going to start uh, each combat with three energy. Block always goes down to zero. Full life, you begin the game with. Okay, so I have two unique cards, and they are both stance-related. The first is Vigilance. It costs two energy. It's a skill. You get two block, but I can give it to any player. Wow. So I can give it to myself, I can oh, give it to Sarah, oh, and then I enter Calm. Okay? Um... Next, I have Eruption which is also a two-cost card. Uh, and this is an attack, and it says I deal two damage, and then I enter Wrath form. Now, the difference between the board game and the video game when it comes to dealing damage is you can pick any monster on any row to do damage to. It doesn't have to be the one that is in yes, your you, row. When, when you do it, you, when we play... Uh, when there's monsters, you get a monster each. But I can yeah. attack Josh's monster, Josh can attack mine. Monster. Exactly. Monsters are different. Unless they have an attack all symbol on their card, they will only attack the hero that is in their and row. We'll go through that when we'll we We'll go through back. that when we get there. Exactly. Sarah, talk so, to me about the ironclad. Ironclad. Uh, same as Josh, I start on zero um, block, nine health at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. And I have three energy. Yes. My uh, relic is that at the end of each combat i can heal one nice yeah, yeah and then i start with the four defend cards mm -hmm. but i have five strike cards and yes. then i have one unique card uh which is bash it is a two cost card it's an attack and it hits for two and makes someone Vulnerable. Okay, vulnerable means that the next time you get hit while you're vulnerable, yep. you get hit for two times the damage. So if you yes, were getting you hit do. for two, you can see get hit for four. Oh, you can oh, hit. Oh, <laughs> Double damage. damage. Yeah. Double damage. Two is Lovely. four. So those are our characters. Off to the side, like we say, big rewards decks. All we got to do now is get some blessings. Do we want all yet? Do blessings. I do um meows. I'll do meow. And then we'll go through the or turn over the spire oh we yes and we, we we still don't even pick the path it's no. true and we although you kind of the first one you don't you don't need to pick before the first one i think i want to know what's oh no we definitely want to get an idea of where we're at okay here we go here's a blessing for you thank you very much here's a blessing for me now what my meow's blessing so you'll see at the top it's uh the red is everybody i think oh. josh's will have the same we all yeah. get which is gain three coin and get a card reward when you we get just a... talk about these chunky coins oh, yes. for a second like you hear that that is the clink of actual money yeah it's like good, good quality money and um, so when you get a a card reward you take three from your common rare um cards common or uncommon cards. sorry common uncommon yeah um three cards choose one mm -hmm. unless anything says differently the only exception is yes if you draw your golden ticket which is in somewhere in your common slash uncommon deck then you would replace that golden ticket with the top card of your rare rewards if only and then you put your golden ticket 
on the bottom of your yep. draw deck. So carry on. Um, so my options to choose from is upgrade a card, gain five gold, or gain a relic, but oh. also gain a curse. So um, can I have... Oh no, I'm going to have a think about no, that. I'm going to get my gotta... cards first. Get my three... Oh, get your three my... rewards. Okay, cause... Yeah, I'll get my, my yeah. three cards, choose one, and then I'm going to think about while you read yours. Okay, so I got the same as Sarah. So three Ooh. coin and a card reward. Ooh. Then choose an option below, okay? So I've got gain five gold or add a random rare card to your deck. I like that. Or gain a rare reward, a rare card reward, which is the same. You draw three rare cards, pick one, nice. lose three coin. So clearly I'm going to lose three coin. Yeah. And take the rear card reward as well. And I am going to take Relic and the Curse. Oh, okay. And the card I chose from my uh, card reward was Carnage. It is a two cost oh, card. I love Carnage. It's attack. It's an attack and it's ethereal. So, like Josh was saying before, uh, if I don't play it, it goes into my exhausted. It withers away. Mm -hmm. But only for that. Um, combat. combat, yeah, you get it okay. back at the yeah, end. Yeah. Uh, and it hits for four. Yeah, it does. And then, so I'm going to take one from the... One curse. Curse, it one is curse regret. Curse, it's unplayable, just means it takes... Unplayable and you retain it, okay? Yeah, so it so we'll talk about retain then... really quickly. Hang on. So, ret uh, so what was your curse again, sorry? Regret. Regret. So retain means... It's always in your hand. Once it comes into my hand, it's stuck there. Stuck there, unless you can find some way of exhausting it or getting rid of it. So you're only ever going to draw four, four cards. cards. Okay. Uh, and then can I have a relic? Yes, you can. Top of the relic deck. Have you shuffled these bad boys? I have. All right, here you go. Is it worth it? Duality. So when we roll the dice, uh, depending what the roll is, uh, if I if a two happens to be there, I just have two. Um, you get two block. Two block. If there's a four there, I can deal two damage. That's great. That's an eight cost relic right there. That's grand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so What's What's uh, I am just gonna. Do you wanna flip the oh, spire while there? I pick my cards? What are you doing? So these are my three card rewards that I got from Yao. Yeah. And then those are my three rare rewards. I haven't looked at them yet. I'm just going to do that while you flip the tower. Oh, jeepers. I know. So that, that's so all right. So we've got campfire, uh, enemy, campfire, or oh, early campfire, and double. Uh, oh, no, it's not next to you. Oh, what does that we've mean? boss, um, oh, event, another boss, a shop. A, another campfire, a sharp, a question mark. Uh, all right, it looks ah, interesting. I've got a card that I would like you to uh, confirm for me what this yes. means. Okay, so this is card reality. I'll bring it up for all of you at home so you can say if you, if you think it's right. Okay, so it's an attack card. It says deal three damage to one or two enemies. So does that mean I oh. could deal three damage to one? Oh, and if there was two, damage. I could deal three, and then three damage to another if I so desired. Yes. Yes. Is it not weirdly phrased? Yes. Would you not have put deal three damage to up to two enemies, or... Yes. But then, then I suppose you could be like, well, do two to him choose, and one to him. One. Well, no, because if it deals three damage to two enemies, yeah, that's, really that's a great card. No, that would make sense, because it is a, it is a, two, cost. a two coster. Okay, so I'm going to take Carve Reality for my Meow's Blessing first draw. The cards you don't pick go onto the bottom of your draw pile. Yes. And then I'm going to pick a Rear Reward. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like that. I also like that. Um, well, I also like Judgment. Judgment exactly had, I, like, I like the effect that it had on the screen. Like, mm. The only problem with Judgment in this game, and I'll bring it up, is it's ethereal. If there's not an enemy with seven or less HP, it goes. But generally, seven for the or early less, ones, yeah. But I've got, or I could get two miracles, or oh, gain a block good. for each card in your hand. And two exhaust. miracles is pretty useful. I know. This is two I know. There. I, uh, judgment's real tempting, but I'm going with Deus Ex Machina. 
no nice. judgment for me because it's going to the bottom of our rear cards. I'll never see that again. And then we're going to shuffle these bad boys up. Okay. So, what's our path looking like? Have you picked us a path already? You know, Sarah and I play this game very differently. Mm -hmm. I like to go for elites. Sarah likes to go for question, question marks. marks. I'm all about the question mark route. Like, my route would probably have been... Oh, maybe all the way straight that way. See, I'm looking at that three elite path, and I'm like, surely. Three elite path? You're like, this way... Oh. It's got a campfire there. You're straight. Yeah. Let's see where we get yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Now, the last thing to talk about before we start. If one of us dies... It's Both. over. It's game over. Yeah. So anybody dies, it's over. Right. Let's get do into it. it. Let's, so we're going to we go start on our first encounter. We get one each. Sarah, hook us up. What do we got? Oh, which one do you want? Uh, if you just deal one. them out. Uh, I've got the cultist. One. You've got the jaw worm. Yeah. See, immediately judgment would have been useless. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, hang on. So. Right. These are our things. Sierra is the ironclad. We are going to be playing. You usually play simultaneously, so you'd both all play your cards at the same time, doing yep. the things you need to do. But because we're doing this on camera, we are going to explain everything. We're going to do it one at a time. So uh, the starting player is always the person at the bottom of the yes. uh, of the board. So Sierra. we're going to go through a combat round one step at a time. So at the start of your turn. You're going to reset to three energy yes. and zero block. Yes. Done. Then you can draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Can you please then roll the dice? Yes, I can. One. That's a one. That's so, uh, like Sarah's Relic, uh, that would then activate if, if you'd roll a two or a four. Yes. And the same with it will know what the jaw worm does dependent on... Um, what number comes exactly. out. So at this turn, he is going to shield. At the, on his turn, he will shield up two and strengthen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then you only roll the dice at the end of the round. So Sarah will take a turn, I'll take a turn, the enemies will take a turn, and then we'll do it all again and roll the dice. So, roll the dice and then use your start turn abilities. That's what we just talked about. Then you're going to play your cards. You can talk about it as a group, like, hey, I think we should probably kill this guy near you because he's rough. But, you know, you don't need to be like, Sarah, you need to play a defense and then yeah. a strike and, you know, let everyone play their own game. Uh, and then oh. we're going to do end of turn effects. Move on to the monsters. Let's do it. Do it. You're up. So, for two energy, I will play Carnage. Yeah, you will. Because it's ethereal. If I don't play it, I lose it. Who are you going to uh, attack with that Carnage? Uh, I think I should attack mine because it's about to shield up. I agree. One, two, three, four. Nice. Then I... He's not hitting you this turn. Oh, that's not, cool. Which is kind of annoying because I only have defense cards. <laughs> other than a bash, which I can't Oh, play. which you can't use, yep. So I will not do anything else. Okay. Because it's pointless me shielding. Yeah, you don't need to put up a defense, so you're not going to. So then I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to refresh up to three energy, mm -hmm. move my block down to zero. I'm going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to play out some cards. Do right, it. I am getting attacked for one. So I need yes, to just yes. put on a block of one, which works out fairly well. So I am going to play a defend for one energy. Nice. Puts me on two energy, gives me one block. So you just move your block counter up one. to one. Boom, done. Then I'm going to play a strike for one energy. Done. Then I'm going to play another strike for another energy. Done. Boom. That is the end of my turn. You discard your leftover cards to your discard pile. Yes. Discard, ca discard cards. End of turn. If there's any end of turn effects, would take effect. So same thing. You might have relics or abilities that say at the end of your turn, yes. you can do this. All right. Then we move on to the enemies. Yes. The First. Remove all block. They don't have any on. Yes. They only need. They only uh, have their block on your turn because that's when you're hitting them. Yes. So you remove their block and then they do their action. So starting from the jaw worm. Two, it puts up a two shield and... Oh, not strength five. No, not a strength five. Just a one. Just a strength And he strengthens. One. Now strengthen, I'll bring up the handy dandy guy. It says on the next time he hits, he deals plus one damage. And then that strengthen... Oh. Hands on. So, strength tokens stay. So he is constantly going to be hitting for plus one, but he can only have a maximum of eight. Yes. Which is a terrifying amount of strength. <laughs> so, 
That was him. That's him. Then the cultist, cultist. goes, hits he, for one. Hits you for one and strength. Uses damage. my block, gets a strength in as well. And yeah. then we do it all over again. Yeah, yeah. Start a turn. Sarah refreshes up to three energy. I refresh up to three energy. We get rid of our block. We draw five cards. Bish, bash, bosh. Sarah, you're uh, up. So yeah. I got yeah. my regret. So I can't play it. It's just going to live in my heart. In, my, in, in, in your my heart. heart. In your heart. <laughs> uh, just taking up space. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we didn't roll the dice. Can you roll the dice? Oh, yes, I will. Three. Uh, so the jewel worm's going to hit you for three because he's strengthened and. Well, I can't do four damage. Um... Uh, now I can probably help you out there. Can you hit him for one? I can. I can hit him for much more than that. I can hit him for three, maybe. So I, just need to I can maybe it, actually. Do you know on my turn? But you want to be able to hit yours. Oh yeah, no, I can do those things too. Okay. So if you could hit my guy, I'll kill your guy. How's that? As long as you're gonna do four damage. Yeah, yeah. Right. We'll see. Okay. Have some trust. So, Have that trust. Alright, so you're saying I don't need to defend. I don't believe you need to defend this time. Alright then. I am going to strike for one, mm -hmm. hitting yours. Yes. Strike for two, hitting yours. Yes. Strike for three, hitting yours. Okay. And it's a great turn uh, for me. I discard the rest of my hand. Keeping my Set for regret that stays in your hand. Okay, first I am going to play Deus Ex Machina, which gets me two miracle tokens. One, two. Right, so now I have three, three. just living there. Now that exhaust, you've got an exhaust pile off to the side. Exhaust just means you don't get that again for the rest of this combat, but at the end of the combat you'll shuffle it back in. Right, then I'm going to play for two energy, Eruption. Which says I attack for two and then I enter wrath. I'm gonna attack my guy for two, please. One, two. Yeah, and I enter wrath, which I move my stance wrath. tracker, which now all of my attacks do plus one damage. And at the end of my, if I end my turn in wrath, I take the damage. Yes. Right. Then I'm gonna cash in a miracle. I'm gonna keep this over here because I'm probably gonna need it. Yeah. Which puts my energy up to two, and then I'm gonna play carve reality, which deals. As we discussed. Yes. Yeah, so, but this because of my wrath. I deal four damage to so two enemies. enemies. Yes, so that's so going to kill, kill both, both of those them. guys. Bish, bash, bash. Now, Look at that. uh, that's our first combat done and dusted. You can see on each of the monsters, they have a reward. Now, you get the reward from the monster in your row. Doesn't matter if I killed Sarah's or she killed mine. You only get the reward from the one in your row. Yes. So you are getting... A coin, please. One coin. Yes, one a potion. There you go. I got a vulnerable potion, so I can make someone vulnerable. That sounds great. And a card reward. All right, and then so I am three, getting one. one coin and a card reward as well, so the same thing. Draw three from the top of your deck and pick one. Mm. I like that. Uh, ooh, ah, so I'm taking, oh. I am taking Consecrate for mine. It's a zero cost card. It hits that symbol there next to the one, and that looks like a flame, means yeah. it hits everybody in one row. So not oh, like nice. our separate enemies, yeah, but yeah. in one row. Not a column. Not a column. A row. A row. And I am taking Sever Soul. It is a two cost attack. Hits for three, and I can exhaust a card in my hand. That'll be really handy for you. <laughs> Yes, because of my regret, it means I will be able to hopefully Does it say that. can or... No, you have to. Yes. You have to exhaust a card in your hand. Yes, and then... That's a very handy card for you. Yes, so then these guys go to the bottom. I'm going to put Bottom of the monster pile. Oh, oh, oh actually, the first encounter yeah, ones go back to the box. And then we decide a path. Did we say straight? Yeah, let's hit the question marks, man. So, question mark. We're going to bring up the question mark. We, we got? got the cleric. Okay. Um, hello, friend. I am Cleric. Um, are you interested in my services? Okay. Now, we can choose the same or different. We each choose separately. Yellow text means that both any all players make their own individual choice and gain the individual uh, reward. So you can heal, pay one, heal three. I'm so bitter about this. Pray, pray pay two. Upgrade a card, mm -hmm. purify, pay three, remove a card, or leave, do nothing. I only have one coin, and I'm at full life, so I'm real angry about this situation right here. Now, I'll, 
as we're, you're probably going to do it, I assume. Let's talk about upgrading real yes. quick. Upgrading yeah. is so cool I'm in this game. Upgrade. You've got your card in your sleeve, right? And Sarah's about to do it. Yeah. So you, all you do, you take the card out, you flip it over. It's got its upgraded form on the back. You mm -hmm. can always look yeah, at um, your cards to see what the upgrade will be. You don't have to decide and then go, what does it do? You can check them out. Look at so you can make a fully informed decision of what card you want to upgrade. So I can clearly not do anything at the cleric because yeah. I only have one coin. I'm going to upgrade Carnage. Ah, that's a really good call. It stays ethereal, mm -hmm. still costs two, but my Carnage Plus now does six damage. Six damage, that's not an bad. awesome amount. See, once again, I have a system when I play of like an order of what I would um, upgrade first. So, in my head, it always goes the highest cost cards get upgraded first because if I'm going to pay a high energy cost for something, I want it to be the best it can be. Uh, then, so three, two, one. Ethereal cards are next on that list. If Once again, if I have to play it, I want, I want it, it to be, to be the good. best it can be. Yeah, yeah. So, very cool. All right, then we're right. moving on. We have no choice to go straight. Yep, so we're hitting this monster. So, yeah. two from the top. Goes for me first. Yep. I get a large slime that summons an acid slime uh, at the start of the second round. Uh, so you'll so see there on the large slime, he's got what's called a cube action. Okay, so he start he starts at the top. So on the enemy turn, he is going to hit both of us for one. Then at the end of his turn, the cube slides down. His next action, he's going to hit just you for four and daze you. Move the cut cube down. Once you hit the bottom, you slide it back to the top and you start again. The only exception is some cube actions will be grey. And that means they only happen once. Yeah. After that, you skip them and you go on to the next coloured square. I have got a red lava. Okay. Can I please have some summons? So, red louse, sorry. Uh, red and louse. this says curl up. The first time louse takes damage, it gets two block, and it's uh, it spawns with a green louse and a red louse. Uh, so, can you shuffle those two? They're both green louse. Oh, yeah. yes. So, this, the summon deck, you don't shuffle. You leave it in uh, its order. But when you're instructed to summon an enemy, you take all the copies of that enemy out of the summon deck, you shuffle them up, and you spawn the appropriate number. So and there's, there's only, my green louse. And there's only one red louse. So All right, and then the rest one. go back to the deck. So green louse has three life, uh, is going to do some bad things. Same all lice. With the first time you hit them, they get two block. It's useful that you got one that kills that hits everything in a row. That's true. Um, I'm need it. Can you get me out a whole bunch of single blocks before we uh, get started? Because I imagine I'm going to need them. Single blocks. Yeah, just because they're all about to gain two block each the first time they get hit. Oh. I'm going to shuffle up my deck, and then you are going to kick us off with a dice roll. Yes, I am. And we'll see where we're at, man. So. Oh. Wow. Wow. It's destroyed. <laughs> it was a one. It was a one, yes. Which so, sucks, that red louse is going to strengthen. Yeah. Green louse hit for one. Red louse hit for two. One, two, three, four, your five. Your guy, we know, is hitting us both for one. Yes, for up to three, your block should be at zero. Yes, block is at zero. Energy at three. Let's do it. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so. What do you got? From I Sarah? feel like we need to kill the green, the large slime before it summons. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, totally makes sense. Hurts both. So I am going to use two to use carnage, mm -hmm. um, and that's going to hit it for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and then, can you hit it for one? Yeah, I can totally do that. Sweet, so I will use my last one to hit it for one strike. Sure. That's it. Why don't you just, like, destroy it? That was very impressive. Okay, okay. so then it is my turn. I'm going to play Deus Ex Machina, because if I... Uh, then it goes to my exhaust, I get yes. two miracles, so I have three miracles up again. This is going to seem Wait. fairly similar to uh, <laughs> what you saw before. I'm going to spend two energy, putting me down to one, to erupt, which hits for two, and I enter wrath. So I'm going to hit the red louse on the end, 
for two. two. And then he gets oh. two block and I enter wrath. Oh, yeah. I forgot to move my cube last time, but now I enter wrath. Okay. Now I'm doing plus one damage on my attacks. And if I end my turn in this, I take a damage. Okay? Yes. So that is fine. Uh, then I'm going to spend a miracle to put my energy up to two. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to carve reality, which means I'm going to deal four damage to two enemies. Oh, so right. so I almost gonna... feel like you should just not hit mine, but hit. you can just kill those two and then they'll never get... Like, you can just straight out kill two because you're doing four damage. I am doing four damage. Uh, okay. Because once he's strengthened, and then he's going to hit anyway. Okay, so I'm going to kill the red louse, so hit him for One, four, so two, two block, three. and that kills him. And then the other one, I'm going to attack the green louse, uh, who is was going to hit me for one. One, two, three. Yeah, so it was four, but uh, so he doesn't get the block because he's dead. Yeah. Uh, that's carved kind of reality. And then I'm going to cash in. Oh, that used my energy. So I have currently have zero energy. Yes, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to use my last well, you two. You four, you should have one. Uh, I had three. I used two to put me down to one. Yeah. And then I moved oh, you one. Know, of course you know. And then I moved it down to two. Because I, yes, yeah, I've got two left. Something. So I'm going to spend my two remaining miracles to get two energy and play two defends, which is just going to put my block up to two. Oh, I actually don't need that. I'm going to keep one. I'm only going to spend, I'm going to, I'm going to spend one energy. Yeah. Keep a miracle. Put one block on. Because I don't actually need two block anymore. I just, I have my turn. You don't need any block. I have my, uh, oh, he's going to have for one. one. Yeah, I have my turn pre planned, and then it's, once everything died, I was, it threw everything off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, sweet. Uh, so that's my turn. I My remaining energy just doesn't get used. So, next, it's the enemy turn. Yes, so large slime hits us both for one. Yep, that gets rid of my block. That hits me for one. Didn't put any defense on. But you heal for one at the end of your combat anyway, so it doesn't yes. really matter. And then that moves down for the next turn. Yep, Red Louse strengthens himself. Yes, he does. So now he's going to hit for plus one damage every time. Are. And then we roll the dice. And then we roll. We start a turn, so we reset back to three energy, block to zero, and roll the dice. Yeah. It's a six. Uh, um, you don't do anything on a six. He's going to attack for He's going to hit for three because of his strengthen. Oh, yes. Uh, You're up right. first. I've got my regret. That's annoying. One. Well, not really, because you've got that super awesome uh, exhaust Two. card. So, I'm going to... Oh, he's going to hit for four. He is going to hit for four. But he's only on one life. So, I'm going to use a uh, strike card for my first energy. Uh, that hits for one, so that kills him. Yep. Life and, slime be dead. Yes. And then I'm going to use Sever Soul. So, I hit for three. One, two, three, and I have to life. exhaust one card. I'll exhaust my regret. Like how that's worked out. And that's two energy, so that's me. He gets two defense for uh, getting hurt. Yes. Right, so the large slime's dead. Do so you mind if I just tap him just because uh, like so it doesn't mess with my brain? Yes. Uh, and then, so he has two blocks, so I just need to hit him for mm -hmm. three. So yes, I am going to play Consecrate mm -hmm. for three. For free, it hits everyone in a row for one, so that gets rid of one of his block. Yes, it does. Then for one energy, I'm going to spend. I'm going to play a strike. That gets rid of him. For another one energy, I'm going to play a strike. That gets rid of that. And that he be dead. Woo! We are flying through this. Touch one, I mean, touch you one, say one. that. I don't know why you would. Why you would do that? Like that was a terrible thing to say. You so, never. summons don't have rewards. You'll no. see if we just bring them back. You'll be able to see they've just got a little summon sign in the corner. But, um, Josh, you will get one coin and a card reward. Yes, I will. And I get one coin, oh, thank you, a potion, and a card reward. So oh, I, I mean, please? immediately, I already know what I'm having. What, do you need a potion? Yes, Another potion please. for you, there you go. I got a weak potion. Oh, it does two weeks. I'm, I'm switching back to neutral before I forget. So, I am taking foreign influence. It costs two. It's an attack. I can either do three damage, or I can play a copy of the last attack played by another player this turn. So, if Sarah, the last attack you played was a carnage, which is what I'm hoping, then this can be a carnage, 
and then it transforms back into its foreign influence yes. to redraw. So I'm not taking Empty Fist and Crescendo, and Crescendo is one of my favourites. So <laughs> and okay. then I am taking Combust. It mm -hmm. is a one cost power card. Mm -hmm. Once per turn, deal one damage to any row. I like that. So is that everyone on a row? Yeah, everyone on a row. And so power cards, when you play them, they just sit in your uh, like on the table in front of you mm -hmm. and do their thing do their turn. thing constantly it's gonna yep. be great so let's get rid of those monsters yeah, what potion did you get a weakness potion yes, okay apply too weak to something i like that yeah. so that would be you just put a, a stack of weak so attacks you take one off so we're going straight uh, for the event, yes, yes, you want yes, uh, so you want an event, yeah. Event. We're, we're, we'll we'll both get what we want. You get questions, I get super bad. Wing statue. Okay. You notice an intricate, large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there is more inside. Do you want to pray, remove a card, but lose two health? Oh, I can heal this at the end of my combat. Uh, or gather gold, pay two gold. Oh, that's really a big call. I'm feeling a bit broke Re at the moment. Remove a card? I do like removal, like get rid of a strike or a defend. We do, or oh, we don't have a shop on our route. We don't have a shop on our route. That is a very good point, Sarah. We don't have a shop. The only issue I have is for three elites, I kind of don't want to mess with my HP too much because there's three elites. You know what I'm saying? So well, I'm we've taking. We've got a campfire next. I know, but I want to upgrade then. <laughs> so I'm taking two gold. I want because campfires you can upgrade or you can heal three. I am going to remove a card. I mean, it's yeah, you. It's good for you because you can heal back up at the end of your thing. So. And I will. It's, it's just one of those. Do you get rid of your regret? Because you can just yeah. burn I'm gonna, it anyway. I, I'm going to get rid of my regret. There you go. Oh, probably don't put it back on top. No, we'll put it at the go. bottom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay, push, bash, bosh. And I've done. lost two health. I, um, I healed my one that I lost in the last round because mm. I... For the end of combat. Yes. You just do that. I don't, need so, to, I don't need to fan my cards out like they're a hand. No, that's not no. what you do. So next we're going to a campfire. So oh, that's why I was doing that. <laughs> You can either rest, which is heal for three, or you can upgrade a card yeah. uh, for free. So yeah. I think we'll both we're just going to quickly just going to pick what we're going to upgrade, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So Sarah, what'd you pick? So I upgraded Combust, so it's now a Combust Plus. Mm -hmm. uh, still costs one energy, but the, now um, I deal two damage to a raw rather than one. Nice, and I am upgrading Carve Reality, so now I deal four damage to one or two enemies. Right. I like so, that. I like it a lot. Next, we move to the elite. It's elite time. The first of three. It's going to be a great time. Right. Flip it. What elite are we fighting? I haven't shuffled them. There's only oh. three elites. We're going to fight them all. I'm just going to murder them all. What if we've been on a path with four elites? You'd shuffle them and fight them draw twice. one. Yeah. Just like the game. Right, we're going to fight. This one always goes in the bottom row. Oh, yeah. I hate this guy. It's the Gremlin Knob. Now, uh, you can see at the top right, it's got 14, 28, 42, 56. That is the one player, two player, three player, four player HP that he's going to start on. So we're going to use our little boss tracker. Bang. He is starting on 28 life for the two of us. 20. Oops. Uh, he also has one of those grey cube actions that we talked about. So... Uh, when he's finished his first turn, he will never do that action again. He will just constantly hit us for three, and he's going to gain enraged on his first turn, which means any time we play a skill, we take a damage. Yes, so it's just, not it's ideal. just one, because no, he doesn't have any... Yeah, he's pretty much like... In, he's so big, yeah, he's yeah. in between both of us. So. He doesn't have any minions. Some no. of them have minions to go with them. Right, right Sarah. So, energy up to three. Energy Make up to sure three. Block, is at zero. block down to zero. One, two, three... Four, Please roll five. us the dice. And come on. Two, roll four, three. three. Oh, you've got your vulnerable potion. Yes, I do. Let's not forget that. Right. One, two, three, well, four, five. Uh, well, I better play Carnage first. Because uh, yeah, you don't, you don't need to worry about the order that you play that. Oh, yeah. Because I 
I'm doing come up. <laughs> so, uh, Carnage does six damage. Nice. So do you not want to vulnerable them first and do 12 damage? I hadn't thought about it. Potions I, I always forget to use. They just My plan was it would just sit there. Do you want to do 12 damage to them instead? Which is this, this one. Yeah. Use your vulnerable potion. Make them vulnerable. So that means his next source of damage is doubled. So oh. Carnage now oh. actually hits for 12. So he was so on... It doubles it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he was on 28, he so now he's on 16. Right, yeah. That's what I did. So now he's not vulnerable anymore, but, like, <laughs> awesome. There you go. Okay, right. I've got one energy left. Uh, I will do all that I can. Is it strike? Mm-hmm. For one. Nice, And then nice, I'll discard nice. my hand. That was a great turn. Yes, it was. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what am I going to do? I hear you ask. I am just going to play it a bit safe this turn. I'm going to really? spend two energy. He's not attacking you. No, I know. Uh, to carve reality. I'm just going to deal four damage to him. Puts him down to 11. Uh, and then I'm just going to spend my last remaining energy to strike, which just does one damage. And then I'm going to... Dis oh... I'll spend my miracle yep. to do one more damage with another strike. To put him onto nine. Right, and that's our Inky turns. Uh, then we are going to enemy turn. turn. So he Remove his block, doesn't have any. And he enrages and then moves the counter down one. Mm -hmm. Enrage, so he will now, uh, anytime we play a skill card, he hits us back. Yeah, we do. So, uh, go up to three energy, draw five cards. One, go two, again. three, four, five. Go again. I'm going to put this vulnerable potion on the bottom. Do I need to play it in any particular order? Uh, well, I, um, I mean, you can't have your carnage again, surely. But uh, I do have my foreign influence. So um, um, I could copy. If you have a super attack that does something cool, uh, I could do it doubly cool. I only have <laughs> Bash or Combust. But anyway. What does Bash do? Bash uh, hits for two and then makes him vulnerable. Um, oh, yeah, and then um, I could but hit great. him for four because it would be doubled because he'd be vulnerable and then he'd be vulnerable again. Unless yeah, I hit him good. next. So you want me to do that one first? Uh, I wouldn't mind you doing that last if you don't mind. Yeah, sorry, last. So yeah. I won't use the vulnerable. No, but I can. Yes, okay. Well, I if will that's use, all right. Yeah, I'll use Combust. To deal two damage to him, it costs one, deals two, mm -hmm. and then I will do bash for two, which deals two damage and makes him vulnerable. Puts him on five. Puts him on five, and I have that's all my energy. Okay, uh, I am gonna play Deus Ex Machina to get two miracles <laughs> and nice. exhaust it. Then I am going to play Foreign Influence for two. Play a copy of... Oh. No. Instead of doing that, I'm just going to hit him for three damage, which is doubled. Yes. And kill okay. him for six. So, there we go. I'll just do that instead. Yeah. Uh, so, that kills him. Yeah, so, now, does. elite rewards, you yes. both get the uh, really reward. Uh, uh, so, we are going to both get two, two coins. Fine. So, that was awesome. We're not even going to the shop. I know. But next floor. Next floor. We'll be fine. Uh, we both get a relic. Here's a relic for you. I got relic Captain's Wheel. So on a three, I get three, <laughs> um, three, three block, defense blocks. Like that. I got a golden idol, which after every combat, I gain one gold. Oh, Once nice. again, we're not oh, going to a shop. At the end of combat, <laughs> I heal for one. I keep forgetting about uh, that. And then we both get a card reward. Oh, so yes. draw three. Just a normal card reward. Regular card reward for this guy. Gosh, it's a boss. It's not a boss. Oh, they, no, it's just an elite. They are just for the boss big boss. Eh? Yeah, just just for the yeah. super guy. I oh, do I got the golden like... ticket. Oh, nice. So, oh, so golden gold... ticket. It's a ticket. Golden ticket can't be added to your deck when you reveal the golden ticket. Reveal a card from the rare deck, so that goes to the bottom. Gonna have to take that, and I get a card from my rare deck, and then add. I decide which three. So while you're deciding, I have chosen Simmering Fury for my uh, card reward. It's a two-cost mm -hmm. power, and while it is active, I deal another plus one damage while I'm in Wrath. 
So Wrath now, while this is active, does plus two damage. Which just sounds like it's going to be a good time. Uh, and totally worth one damage at the end of your turn. To, uh, which, because you can block that damage from Wrath mm. with, with defense cards. So I'm feeling good about that. I am sure. I think I'm not going to take mine. Your rare. That's, oh, do you know, it always sucks when you get a rare and you're like, darn it, I don't think I want it. No, it's going to go on the bottom. Yeah. I am going to take Shockwave. Oh, I like Shockwave. Shockwave um, that hits everyone in a row and it makes them weak and vulnerable. Nice. And then you exhaust and it. And then I exhaust it. I like that. So, we'll get rid of this guy. Yep, and, and we're moving on. on. So, this is the relic spoiler. So, we move into here. You both get another relic. One for you. Yay! One for me. I got a whetstone. Whetstone. Oh, I love that. So, relic. upgrade a starter strike and another attack, then discard this item. Can't be used in combat. So, you just now get to upgrade. A strike. A strike and, and another, another attack. attack. Nice. And I got a toolbox which says once per room I can minus one to a dice result. So that will play into um, Sarah's relics. So uh, she has things that activate on two, three, four. So if we were to roll a five, I could minus one. Uh, the other thing to note is a six, a one, when you minus it, becomes a six. And I can do that once per room. So that's not per combat, that's per room. So any encounter that we're in, I can minus one. So I've upgraded a strike card, which just makes it a attack for two. Oh, and is then, it? Yeah, see, interesting that when we've played with other characters. Interesting. Now I they, want to look at the upgrade on my strikes. Yeah, when I have played with, who was it that I was playing the with? The Defect. The Defect. His made it a zero cost card. And I was like, do, mm. now we've not looked at this, but do some of your strikes turn to zeros and some of them to twos? Or are they all? They all look like, oh, I now I have to check. I know, I'll, you'll have to just give us a zero because I'm intrigued okay we're back so they're all twos so it must be the defect yeah it just gets zero on. strikes and I think that's because the defect has that whole zero cost like yeah. deck thing going on so that's uh, really cool and then the other attack that I upgraded was bash nice. um, minute bash plus still a two cost but it attacks for four and then makes one result rather than two Can upgrade and those two cost cards my, ma my whetstone goes over there. Nice. And then we'll shuffle. Moving on. Move Alright, here we go. Next elite. I'm going to draw it. Oh. No, no, this is great. Look how easy that was. We totally you smited it him. Why would you say Oh, okay. Me? Centuries. There so, Centuries Summon. So, the, the main dude stays on the bottom. And then it says here, you summon Centuries A, B, A, B until there's three enemies per player. So, it's going to go A, B, A, B, A. Like that. There you go. So, we're going to start with Century A. Have you shut Cent them? Oh, I think they all do the same. They're all exactly the same. No, are they? Yeah. Oh, they are. Okay, so A, then B, then A, then... No, there's just oh. three. B, then A. That's it. I mean, I say that's it. That's a hefty amount of it. Yes. Do we need this? No, we don't. Uh, no, because they all just have seven slash eight life. Oh, century Bs have eight, century As have seven. So, we've got a seven, mm -hmm. and then an eight, and then a seven. seven You'll know from playing out, these guys just seven. daze you up to no end. Oh, yes. What a pain. Right, let's go. Oh, I don't want to. I'm a bit scared now. Chuckle, uh, you can roll the dice. Okay. Can't sure. remember who rolled it. It's a three. What's with the threes today? Uh, oh, I get three defense. Oh, there you go. That's good. Captain's wheel activates. Is it just that's and done? Is it every yeah, turn? No. Oh, oh no, no. Each, each, each time turn, there's a three. There's yeah. a three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Now, One, century two, A two, three, is going to daze. Century B is going to hit for three. And then the actual century dude is going to hit for two. So <laughs> currently you're getting hit for five and a daze. I'm getting hit for three and getting two days. Right. One, um, two, three, I'm getting four, hit for five. five. That's yes. going to really hurt. Uh, and also a that? difference between the board game and the video game. If you kill the main sentry, the summons still stay. They don't run away like they would. No. Uh, if you're doing anything high, I would like to copy it, please, if uh, 
you should copy uh, or anything that attacks a row yes. or so i am going to do my bash plus you're doing that first all right well yes i will do yeah. it first i should probably hit the sky's hitting you for three yes i'll hit that one so i'm going to one two three four mm -hmm. and make him vulnerable yeah that's and two then energy i will combust plus mm -hmm. that cost my last one and i deal two to entire raw except for this guy because he is vulnerable vulnerable yeah it hits him for double so that hits him for four which kills him nice good and work then if it hit that one for two that one for two wow good job yeah oh it's a I'll put that off screen yeah somebody can just someone... sit over there and that's the end of my turn okay that was Cool, man. Yeah, well. Uh, so I am going to, I guess, as I've got no defense in my hand, I'm going to put my block, my energy up to three. And then I'm going to spend two uh, for foreign influence, which I'm going to copy your last attack, which was bash for four and vulnerable. So I'm going to hit, I guess I'm going to hit century B. What? It's a roll. No, that's not an attack. That's a power. I'm copying oh, the last attack. Um, yeah, so, which is yeah, bash. My last attack was bash. I hadn't yeah. thought about that. Yeah. So I'm copying bash to yeah. hit Sentry B for four. One, two, three, four. Puts him on four life and makes him vulnerable. Yes, it does. Uh, I'm then going to consecrate, which yeah. says I hit an entire row for one. So I'm going to hit my row. Oh. For uh, one, so that hit Century A for one. Century B gets hit for two because of the vulnerability. Yes. And this guy gets hit for one. And then I have one energy. No, yes, I've got one energy left. All I can do is play another strike for my last. Oh, and I've got a miracle. Uh, so I'm going to strike. For one, put yeah. Sentry B onto one life. Then yeah. I'm going to play my Miracle Token, which I start with every combat, to play another strike nice. to kill Sentry B. That gets rid of him. Nice. Uh, I can't use my last mm -hmm. card. That's all my energy. That's all my things. No, so. I don't know the last game we played. I can't remember how long. I forgot that it's a, it's a power. So it's yeah, it stays. stays. Oh, I feel yeah. like last time I, I just played it, and, and I did just put it in, I've just brought it back out with my discard There you go, yeah, no, you'll get used to it. Yeah. Uh, right, so then it is the enemy turn. Yes. We rolled a three, so starting from the bottom, uh, Century A gives you a day, so yes, you put a day on top, top of your card, and then Century 1 hits you for two. So I had three um, block. block because of my captain's wheel, so that's put it down to one. Easy breezy. My two Century A's give me two days, which means I'm drawing two days at the start of my next turn. But no, hey, look, I'd rather take the days than take mm. the damage. That's the enemy turn. They've got no cube action, so we start again. We go back up to three. We draw five draw. cards, and it's your turn to roll the dice. All right. Come on, dice. Three, three, same again. Three blocks. Oh, yeah, true. So, once again, we're getting a lot of days, but we're not taking any damage. Right. So, uh, once per turn, I do two damage to an entire row. Yes. Doesn't really matter, so I'll do this one. One, two. <laughs> one, two. Nice. Uh, and then and that doesn't cost energy because you've already spent energy to play it, so you're now, yeah, now just yeah, it's just a thing that it yeah. does. Then um, you don't have anything. No, I've already played my um. Yes. I forgot the name of it. Card. Foreign influence. I've already played it. <laughs> then I will play Carnage for two. Nice. It hits for six. So century, um. Sentry A, your Sentry A is on six, so I may as well. Sounds like a good thing to do to me. Kill one of them. Nice, I like that. And then I've got one left. Uh, I'm getting hit for two, so I don't need. So I will no. just play a strike for my last one and hit one of them. Yeah, the main dude. The nice. Main dude. And okay. That's me. That's you. All right. So I am playing uh, Deus Ex Machina to get two. <laughs> Uh, miracle tokens. 
that good is exhausted uh i've only got two cards so i'm spending one energy to play a strike uh i'm going to hit i'll just start yeah. working on the century a that's next to me yeah yeah don't worry uh, for much. one you got you know you got yours yeah. oh. uh and then i don't need to put a defend but i'm going to anyway spend one energy to put a defend on which gives me one block and I'm my really two nice. days yeah so because I've finished my turn and these are still in my hand, they ethereal back to the pile. And uh, if you have any status effects in your hand at the, or in your deck at the end of a combat, you take them out and put them back. They yeah. don't stay with you. Because Curses stay, status effects go. Okay, right. That is that enemy turn. You rolled a three. Yes, so my guy, I get a... Oh, I should have kept him here. Yeah. Yeah, get a dazed. I get a dazed, goes on the top of my deck, and then I get hit for two. One, two, block. Once you block. Yep. Sentry A get... hits me with a dazed and as well. One Just one this time, exactly, three, so that'll four, be nice. Five. Then, then we draw back. five. Yep. Go back one, up to two, three energy. Three, four, five. Your dice roll. Yep. Three energy. I lose my block. Roll some dice. Yes, I rolled a six. I get nothing for that six. And I have no point minusing it because a six becomes a one you got anything for a one no no okay so then a six it is uh because yeah i could then let's say you've gotten a four I, I could make it a three so the enemies do different things mm. right. yeah use so it how you want six oh you said me first so okay. six yes so you're getting hit for three and getting and dazed. dazed and then you i am getting hit for three so i'm gonna have a very simple possible turn so i'm going to start my carnage i hit an entire row deal two damage to any row mm -hmm. so i'll deal to this row one two one two so you kill the sentry the main so sentry over there yeah uh and then this is on one so then i've got three energy i'm just going to use a strike for one kills that one nice strike for two hits yours nice strike for three it's yours. Thank you very much. And that's the end of my turn, and I just get rid of my days. Lose your days. Easy. I've got three energy. I'm going to spend two of those energy, puts me on one, to carve reality and deal four damage to that last century. Boom. Get, finish them off. Get rid of my days that was in my hand. And we are back. Rewards. What so, have we got? the century gives each of us, because it's a boss, we each get our... Um, is it called a boss? Two. Yeah. An um, elite. An elite, sorry. You get... Two coin each. I'm cashing in to three from my thing. Take five. Ooh. I know, because they're gold and shiny. Right, go on then. I'll do the same. I'll cash in three. To take five. To get a big fat. Oh, they're heavy. I know. It's quite heavy. Chunkers. Nice. Uh, uh, and then we get a um, relic each. One so for you. I got a horn clad. Oh, apparently. All, all about the um, defense. Defense. That's really good for you. Two. One, two, I get one, two, three, and four. I get something. I'd like to just remember that uh, my golden idol gets me a coin for. Oh yes, at end of combat, I also heal for one. Yes, I got an anchor, which just says at the start of the combat I get two block. Nice. So just for round one, I've got two block. Yeah, I like that. Uh, and then we get a card reward. All so right, as always, I like that too. Draw three. Draw three. Pick one. Mm-hmm. All right, be right back. Yeah. Uh, right, back. so I chose Flex, which is a zero cost card. Um, I gain, I wasn't, I wasn't do that, but it's this. I gain strength, uh, and then I lose it at the end of my turn. Yeah, it's a temporary strength. Exhausted, exhausted. And I am taking a power, another power called Battle Him. So it's one cost power, and it says once per turn I can deal a damage. But that's actually plus one if you're in wrath. So every turn, if I'm in wrath, I can just do two damage to something. It wants me to be wrathful, and I appreciate it. Okay? <laughs> right, we're just going to so see what happens. So we're moving up to the question mark. That's okay. Right, yep. We've d smited that elite. Yes, we have. We smote him, man. That was great. <laughs> we smoted. We smoted that And um, so, living wall. Yep. Three faces materialize from the wall and the walls and speak forget what you know and i'll let you go i regret i require charge to see a new space if you want to pass me then you must grow <laughs> <laughs> so you can forget remove a card mm -hmm. you can change transform a card 
or grow upgrade a card so josh what is transform so transform you would take you pick a card from your deck whichever card you like and you would remove it from the game so just put it off to the side where you're not going to grab it back again and then you would just take the top of your common slash uncommon rewards oh. deck and that's what it's transformed into you don't you can't there's no backsies like that is what it is what you're gonna do i'm upgrading a hundred percent. I love an upgrade. I've already pulled out my cards so that I can. Uh... And I'm going to transform. Ah, yeah. I'm getting rid of a defend. I'm getting rid of a defend. Pushing it off to the side, and I'm getting <gasps> wild strike. Awesome. Wild strike. I will have to have a look how this affects. So, oh, so I attack for three. It's a one cost card. Attack for three, but then dazed. You get dazed. I get dazed. Yes, you, I you like, take a taste. Yeah, no, you oh, get a taste. And then that kind of sucks. No, it's good. But like it's three, three attack. Yeah, so, yeah, it's good. I was good that. Uh, I am going to. Uh, uh, it's breaking my rules though if I We're upgrade about that to one. Upgrade again. So I'd already taken out. No, because I was assessing. I'm going to upgrade Simmering Fury. Mm -hmm. So it's Simmering Fury plus now. Now whenever I'm in Wrath, I deal plus two additional damage. So now whenever I'm in Wrath, I do plus three damage Ooh. each hit. Oh, gosh. I know. I'm, and then, I'm excited right, about Right, then we're going to move to the campfire. So Guess what I'm doing here? We're both going to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade again and we'll be back. Right. Uh, here we back. go. So I have got, I've upgraded Flex. So now uh, it just makes it not ethereal. So mm -hmm. when I use it, I don't lose it. And I am upgrading Eruption. So it uh, just becomes a one cost card instead of a two cost card. We are about to get so wrathful up in here. Like, <laughs> it's going to be a good time. Then, so let's shuffle so them up. Let's move to the next one. So it's the last, alone. The last elite. It Got can no only the Lag of Loon. Log of Loon. Yep. Log of Loon. Log of Loon. Yep, what what you said. Yeah. So he starts asleep, like yep. in the main game. Two uh, two player so it's forty four life. Yeah. Yep. Jeepers or creepers. Totally fine. <laughs> right. Five. Josh roll the dice. I would love to roll the dice. Love rolling dice. It's a five. I get everything for one to four. Okay, so I can spend... What What do you get on a four, though? I get a deal two damage. Okay, sure, why not? I'll use my toolbox. Uh, Is it once once and done? Once per... Yeah, once per time. Okay. Once yeah. per game? What, well, no, once per, per sorry, room. Per once room. per room. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I will use my toolbox to turn that five into a four. All right, it's a four, so I deal just two damage. And then two. you have it at the start of your game. Oh, yes, unfortunately, because he's asleep, it doesn't matter. But at the start of combat, I gain two block. Right, so let's get into it. One, yeah, two, up. three, four, five. Uh, reset three energy. Put yep. your second miracle token away because you've only got one. And are you in neutral? I'm in neutral. Nice. Yep. So, like I do I car. need to play it in any particular no, no, order? Uh, no, you play however you like. Oh, do I? Oh. All right, I'm going to put Combust on. I like it. Yeah. Combust costs one energy and deal two damage to any row. There's only one row. He was on. Oh, so he's, he's right. He's down to 40 already. This bash bash. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a casual 40 straight casual away. 40. Then I will, for one, use Wild Strike. Hit him for three. Uh, one, two, three. That puts him on 37. Yeah, take uh, a and I take a taste. And then lastly, I will do a strike. Hit for one, and yeah. that uses my last one. Nice. Fish, bash, bosh. Easy start. Okay, yeah. I am going to... I'm a bit torn, <laughs> actually, because it's tricky. So, it's I'm spending two energy yeah. to enter Simmering Fury. Which is my Simmering Fury Plus, which is your attacks deal plus two damage while you're in Wrath. Okay? Oh no, it's great, and I'm very much looking forward to doing it. Uh, but I do, it's it's just scary because I don't want to take the damage, right? It's not as bad as in the real game. No, no, it's like not as bad as all. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, counterproductively, I'm not going to enter Wrath. I'm going to... Okay. Because I, I can't, like, 
I'm. Uh... He's not going to hit you. No, I know oh, he's it not. Matter but because I he's just take damage. damage. I, I, just, I take one damage, but I'm just not prepared to do that just yet. Oh, okay, come it's, it's it's coming, but what, I'm not there. What, okay, so I'm just going to do a regular strike for my last energy. Lose my. T oh, I've got two block. I take it back. I'm entering okay. wrath. What was the on? So, yep. Well, I only did one damage, so you just got to move it back one. I can't remember. If I'm well, he started on 44. And you I'm hit him for two, two, and then you hit him for... Three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that put Eight. him on 37. And then... I must have done one more. Oh, I knew this, this is why I can't change it. Before Sorry, day. shouldn't change my thing. Okay, so I'm erupting. Right, mm -hmm. for my last energy, I do two oh, damage to him, one, and two. I enter wrath. Okay. So now I get plus that one, plus enough. three on my attacks, I take one damage. Yes. End of my turn, I take one damage, I block onto one. That is the end of my turn. So His turn. we discard all our cards. Yep. If he had any block, he takes it off, and then he does nothing because he's asleep, but he wakes up and moves to the next terrifying thing. And because they're, the rest of them are red, he's just going to cycle through those three. So yeah. now he's going to hit us both for four. I'm this roll seems like a really good time to use your weakness potion. I got six. Six does nothing. No, nothing for me. One, okay. two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. Right. Uh, if you do something awesome, I would like... Um... Oh, I need one more energy. Oh, he's put my... Energy back to three. Oh no, it's ethereal. If I don't use it, I'll lose it. But I didn't Maybe want to use, use it. Maybe use it last. I didn't want to use it at all. Um, what? Um, gotta, gotta use it. Yeah, I know. So, I'm going to use Combust first, because uh, it doesn't cost me anything. It just hits him for two. Mm -hmm. Then I will use a defense for one. It just gives me one defend. And then I will use Carnage, because it's ethereal. And if you don't lose it, no, if you don't use it, you, you lose, lose it. it. Yeah, you and do. hits him for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Puts him on 26 Fish, life. Fush, fush. So, that was the last one. That's, Could you and also I, use your weakness potion? Probably can. Um, my days goes back on the pack, and I because I know you don't remember using potions. No, I never remember. Using so that puts two weakness on him. Weakness in this game means he hits for minus one. So currently he's going to hit uh, for three damage. Three. Is it now? Is it? It's a stack. You when it's oh, attack, yeah, yeah. you take one off. It's not next like attack, one take each. one off. It's not one each. It's three no. to both of us. Yes, because one. he's only doing one attack to everybody. Yes. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, he's well, hitting us for three. Yep. There you go. Right, right. you're up. It is my turn. I've it got is. three energy. So the first thing I'm going to do is play foreign influence. Yes. Which I'm going to play a copy of the last attack play by play of this turn. I play which is six. Now yes. I'm in wrath which means that that six actually becomes a nine because yes. it's plus one, one two, plus three, two for four, Simmering five, Fury, which six, for some reason I've seven, shuffled back eight, in. Nine. I did that as well. Yeah, so, so let's keep going. that up there. So that's a nine. Okay, so that was for two energy. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to spend my miracle token to give me an energy, which puts me up to two. Yes. And then I'm going to play Vigilance for my last two, which means I'm going to gain two block. Yep. And I enter calm. So it takes me out of wrath, but I'm now feeling all right about it. All right, so that is my turn. That's all my energies done. Yes, it's his, so turn. his turn. He's going to hit us both for four, but then he removes a weakness and hits us both for three. Okay, so I block all three. I block one and get hit for two. Nice. And then That's we... him. He moves his cube oh, down yeah. to the next spot. We go back to three energy, draw five cards, three. do it all again. One, two, three, four, five. Right. I am going to play Flex Plus. Nice. And I am going to gain a strength for this Temporary turn. Temporary strength. I like strength, that. deal one plus damage. Each mm -hmm. thing hits one extra. Yes. Hmm. Mm. What have you got for us, Sarah? Yeah. Then, What's he on currently? 17. Really wasting that. Oh, then I will use Combust. Mm -hmm. uh, that hits him for two, but my strength makes it a three. Yeah, it does. One, two, three. Then I will use 
shockwave for two, one, mm. two. I am um, I, uh, make him vulnerable and I just add one to his stack of weak. Mm -hmm. So oh, then man. I will play my strike card, my strike plus. So that uses my last energy, hits him for two, but my strength makes it three. Oh, which order does it go in? Strength makes it three. Yeah, strength and makes then, it three. Uh, yeah. Because he's vulnerable, the vulnerable is removed and doubles it. So he gets hit for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's on eight, eight life. So you're um, telling me I need to do eight damage. And then I will put that in Man, there. I probably and put off a fire. My strength goes. At the end of my turn, I lose strength. Yeah. Okay, uh, Deus Ex Machina gets me... Oh, did we do want to roll the dice? Did we not? No. Oh, let's roll the dice. Two. two. Oh, you get two block. Four block. Three block. Three block because of your horn, yeah. Horn and nice. duality. Duality? Duality. 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 Uh, Deus Ex Machina. Cost zero, get two miracles. Nice. Consecrate. Hit him for one. It's free, doesn't cost me any energy. Uh, I'm just, I mean, this is all I can do. Uh, defend of one, yep. uh, uh, for one energy. Then uh, strike for one energy, hit him for one. Strike for one energy, hit him for one. That's my hand. That's all I can play. Wow. I have nothing else I can do. <laughs> I know, it's unfortunate, because now I'm going to take my, my first lot of damage. And it hurts me. <laughs> okay, uh, so then it's his turn. He yep. hits us both for three. Yes, because but we remove a weakness. Yep, so I block one, so I take two damage. Oh, I got. Oh, I need to shuffle. Oh, I don't hit. Go over hit because I had three. Yes. Nice. Then you can shuffle. I need to shuffle. Yes, you do. And then I'm gonna roll the dice. Yes, yeah, shuffle and roll. I meant. <laughs> I rolled another two. Yes. So you get three, three block again. That's what uh, I did. Like. We move, did we move this cube down? No, we have not. Okay, so, so on this turn, turn he's going to. Weak, weak, strengthen. Weaken us both for two and strengthen himself. Uh, I like to think two, he strengthens three, us, but four, I'm pretty five. sure that's not the case. No, that's not the case, unfortunately. <laughs> Can you imagine? Here, have some strength. Uh, no, I need to hit him for a casual. Five. Yeah, we totally got... I, I have all of the damage in my hand. So do whatever you like, and I will murder the rest of him. I will use carnage and hit him for six. Uh, th oh. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. So, so he's dead. Uh, end of combat things. You get a coin because oh. of your gold oh, yeah. idol. Gold diamond, I yeah. heal for one. This guy is well dead. We get two coin each. There's two coin for you. Thank you very much. Here's two coin for me. Yes, we uh, get a relic. I love relics. One for you. So I got bag of prepared... Pre 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 Preparation. Mm -hmm. Start uh, at the start of combat. I draw two extra cards. Nice, love draw. I got mummified hand. Ooh. Once per combat, uh, gain two energy if you played a power this turn. Ooh, nice. I mean, I like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's great. Uh, and then, as always, we get a card, card reward. reward. Choose one, three. Two, three. Choose, yeah, pick one. Yeah. Right. We're back. Sarah, what'd you pick? So I picked. War Cry. Okay. So it is a zero cost card, and I can draw two cards, and then I put, uh, then put a card in my hand, uh, put a card from my hand on the top of my draw pile. Because I have quite a few two cost cards, mm. but I have nowhere to get more than three energy right now. So it's quite useful. I'm like, oh, I want to play both those twos. So well, I can play one next turn, and I know yeah. I'll get it. It's a good call. Yes. Uh, and I have taken a power because I just drew that mummified hand, and I thought, well. I guess I better take a power. Uh, Mental Fortress, which uh, is a one cost power, and it says whenever you switch stances, you gain a block. Nice. So that's what I am doing. So here yeah, we go. What's next? What is next? We move on to the final campfire of Act One. Yes. So... Would you like to heal for three or upgrade a card? Upgrade. A hundred percent. I'm even on seven life, but I feel like at the end of the act, you heal back up to full for the start of the next act. I reckon. I can swing uh, seven life. I reckon yeah. I can finagle it so that I'm going to be all right. I am upgrading Wild Strike. So Wild Strike Plus, I just hit, I hit for four rather than three, uh, but I still get a diz. Uh, I'm just going to look at the back of Mental Fortress. No, uh, oh, block. Yeah, block or damage. <laughs> I'm taking damage. Uh, I'm upgrading Battle Him. 
So now, once per turn, I deal two damage, but an extra two damage if I'm in wrath. So now we are on to the big boss. All right, here we go. It's slime time. Slime time. So flip him. Here so we go. it's the slime boss. Slime boss. For, really? For Forty-four. Two, and we just hit someone for forty-four. That yeah. I expected more. But he's gonna do lots of bad yeah, things. Lots of bad things. So he splits. Oh, because did you read that? When we kill him. We summon a large slime and then an acid slime and a spike slime. In that order. In the summon deck for each player. Holy moly. Right. That's why. Not wow. So he is going to slime us for his first turn, which is put the slime in your discard pile and you have to play in a you have to pay an energy to get rid of it. Great. Gross. Alright, here we go. Now Start of combat, gain two block. I don't need it, but oh, if I get wrathful, I suppose. And I draw two extra cards. Let's roll the dice. Three, four, five. I've rolled a two. Awesome. On a two, I gain two energy. Two block. A two block for duality and one block for. Uh, I mean, he's not attacking. So that's no. Kind of useless, but. One, and two, three, four, cards. five. You should have seven, shouldn't you? Seven cards. I can't count. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. right. Of course, I draw hand of defense when there's no attack, but that's okay. Ooh, right, Sierra, what do you right. got for us? What have you well, got for us? I'm going to start. Uh, I shouldn't have two block there. Let's get rid of that. And I also shouldn't have two miracles there, so let's get rid of that too. <laughs> and are you in neutral? I've got one. I'm not in neutral. I should also should be in neutral as well. Thank you. <laughs> so, I'm going to start by playing Flex. So I become strengthened, but just till the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. It costs zero um, energy. Then I'm going to play Combust for one energy. Nice. Deal two damage, but it is three damage because... Because um, of how strong, strong you are. Way. I should have played it in a different order, but never mind. One, two, three. Nice. I played it in the right order. Um, I mean, maybe I just won't play that one. Okay. Yeah. Remembering that you're about to get a row of enemies, if you're talking about uh, Shockwave. And I think Shockwave yeah, doesn't yeah, it's, oh, lots yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah, it's Ross. Um, then... I'll sever your soul. Do I play that or those three? I don't know. One, what two, would you like to play? Oh, I'm going to play Strike for one, hits him for two. Yeah, one, it does. Puts him two. on 39. Then, if I've got one left, I will hit him for strike again. So for another two? For another two. 37. There you go. Unfortunately, I have a very undamagy turn. Uh, <laughs> That's not helpful. I know. It's just what I drew, man. I'm spending one energy yeah. to battle him. So once per turn... Oh, once per turn, I can deal two damage. So I'll deal two damage to him. One, two. Uh, then I have a free... Consecrate, which hits him for one. Awesome. That's just not and bad. then I have three defends, which I don't need. So that is the end of my turn. So his turn. Oh, this is Okay, so we both one, get three, two, three in one, your discard two, pile. Three. So, yeah, put in your discard pile and it costs you. So we don't have to deal with that yet. I not yet. That later. Now, and he then cubes that, down. Cubes down. Hitting us for three. One, one two, two, three. three. Four, and then five. we'll roll the dice. I also would have gotten two energy when I played my battle him, but because I wasn't going to use energy, I just didn't add it. Uh, rolled a four, so I hit him for two. Oh, nice. Two because of duality. Uh, I'm going to turn okay, that Okay, he's off. doing three Don't damage. Now, if you're using any uh, awesomely big power attack, that'd be great to know. Yes, uh, maybe. Uh, one, two. He's hitting us, and I don't have a... No block. block. I could turn that four into a three if you want block rather than doing two damage. No, no, two damage is fine. I can handle okay. it. Uh, right, so I'm going to use combust first, hit him for two. Then that's I will use. Uh, oh, that puts me on three. Yeah, three that? energy back. Yeah. Then I will use defend to get one, um, one block. Then mm. I will use strike plus to hit him for two. One, two, 
puts him on. So that's two energy. Yep, two energy, puts him on 28. And then I will, for my last energy, I will use my Wild Strike Plus, which hits him for four. One, two, three, four. And I put a Diz on the top of my thing. Mm, okay. I am playing Deus Ex Machina to get two <laughs> Miracle Tokens. Yes. Uh, I am going to do two damage to him for my battle him. Two damage. Mm -hmm. One, two. Uh, I will play... How are you doing that? Deal two damage. Thank it's you. plus two if you're in wrath. Oh, so just do two. Yeah, just does two, but I'm That's not in wrath, awesome. so... Yeah, but still, two damage. Oh, no, it's great. Yeah, it's useful. Uh, then I'm going to play Foreign Influence for two. Uh, two. How much does Wild Strike do? Four. It does four. Four, but you get I a do get a daze, daze or I could or do three. three. I think I'm gonna do three damage to him and not take a daze. Okay. So I'm gonna do three One, damage. Two, three. He's on to nineteen. Okay, that's nearly cool. Done. The first part. Nearly done. Uh, I'm gonna cash in one miracle token to then play vigilance, yes. which gives me two block and puts me into calm. Uh, I've lost track of how much energy I have. Oh no, because I used a miracle token, put it up to two, and then cashed it in with vigilance to get out to zero. Yeah. Um, that's you. I think that's me. Yeah. So, I didn't play anything. I didn't do anything. Yeah. He then hits us both for three. I had one block, yeah. so I get hit for two. I had two block, so I get hit for one. And then he moves down. Oh, he also puts... Oh, Double slime. Double slime. Yep. That's going to be a lot of slime coming out. It is a large slime. A slime boss, in fact. Three, One, four, two, five. three, four. Put energy five. back up. Just energy a casual three. 19. Okay, uh, we, we got this. Maybe. Got I'm in calm. Good for you. Just so you know. I am uh, So I am right going now. to use... Come, oh, roll the dice. Oh, roll the dice. You, got, your roll. you can roll. Okay. It's all right. Six. Six does nothing. No, I've not used my toolbox. Does a five do no. anything? No, then it's staying a six. So I'm going to use Carnage for two. Hit him for six. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put him on 13. 13. And then I am going to use Defend. Oh, because he's hitting us for six. For one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to hurt. How much? How much? And then my um, days goes. And that's me. Okay. This is going to hurt. Here we go. But surely we heal back up to full at the end of Act 1. Yes, yes, we do. Whew. Okay, here's what we're going to do. First, yeah. I'm going to play Eruption for one. Yes. Which hits him for two damage. One, two. And then I enter Wrath. Yes. Now, hang on. I was, yes, for once. I was on two. Now, because I'm leaving Calm to go to Wrath, yes. I gain two energy, which puts me on four energy. Yes, it okay? does. I do plus one on my attacks. Now, I'm going to use Battle Him. I'm in Wrath, so I'm doing four damage to him. One, two, three, four. He's on seven. Okay. Then I am going to play a one energy strike. Which does, hang on, which does Two. one. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. I take it back. I'm lying. I'm lying to you, Sarah. I'm okay, lying. I didn't move it. Okay. I'm going to play for two Simmering Fury Plus. So use two energy, puts yes. me on two. Uh, my attacks deal plus two damage while I'm in wrath. But nice. because of my mummified hand, well, once per combat. Oh yeah. If you. No, once per combat, gain two if you play the power this turn. Yeah, Darn so it. you can gain two power now. No, because I used that. F Did I use yeah, that for battle power. him? Yes, no, but I can't remember. If I, I didn't use it for battle him because I had defense in my hand then. So no, so I haven't used it yet. So then I gain two energy. No, you haven't yet. Yeah, for flip it over. For and now, flip mummified hand. Yes. Okay, so that puts me on four. Now I'm going to use strike. Yes. Which does a base of one, plus two, plus a third. So I'm hitting him for four. One, two, three, four. Puts him on six. Then I'm going to use two energy. Oh, sorry, it puts him on three. Okay, two energy to carve reality, which deals seven damage to one enemy. 
Amazing. Two plus plus three for being in wrath. So started four with plus that and kept the energy because we're about to get more. What do you mean keep? The... No, that's the end of the round. They don't summon till the end of the round. Ah. So that's my turn. Okay, so he dies. He dies. But now what happens on us? death? He split. No, no, because he's dead. Yeah, no, yeah. So he splits. We put that off to the side. He splits and summons all host of things. So we're both getting a large slime. Then an acid slime, then a spike slime. Yes, if you want to shuffle them. To I will. The, what are these? These are acid slimes? Yes, in that order. Yes, got to be in that order. So I've them. got the middle ones. So I've got middle slimes. So one middle slime for me, one middle acid slime for you. So those can go back. I'll do the fronties next, which is large slimes. Yes. Let's shuffle those. I'm going to cube those ones up while we... Uh... No, no, I don't. I don't want to. Okay, large slime for me, large slime for you, I'll have a dove, you have one too. Uh, oh. That's 12. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a large 12 slime. And then finally, we get a spike slime each. There you go, and they act last. On a roll of one or two. Right, I'll roll it this time. Please roll something. Something that gives you block. Oh, that rolled right off the table. It's a six. Yes. Didn't help anybody for nope. anything? Then I have oh, to I've got a shuffle. shuffle. Yeah, it's going to be all kinds of slime it's coming It's just going to be all slime. I always get that when I used to play the... Uh, do you know when you play those ones we had just before? The um, statue thing. No, oh, with the dazed. Yeah, you just have like a whole hand of days, yeah. and you're like, oh. All right, I've got two, three, four, five. All right, here we go. I'm feeling reasonably what? confident. It's like, what are you feeling right now? <laughs> reasonably confident. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I've not got a great hand, to be fair. Oh, got no right hand. I am in wrath, which is. So, I'm going to start with um, Combust. Mm -hmm. um, so, I hit uh, once per turn, deal two damage to any raw. So, I hit that one for two, that one for two, that one for two. What are they all doing? We're all six. So, the large slimes are hitting for three and sliming. The acid slimes are weakening us, and the spike slimes no, are hitting different. for two. Oh, they're different. So, yeah, my I'm, guys are I'm hitting for three hit and slimed. For seven. And it is. Okay, I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit for five and weekend. Right. Uh, yes, wow. That okay. Will, that will kill I'm me. I'm going up to three. Uh, well, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to die. You can't die because it'll end the game. I have no way of getting health. Well, um, I'll oh, have... if you have to you kill, didn't kill them, like they've only got three life left. Mm. Surely. Yes. Surely. So I will play. So I've played that. I'm going to play Carnage for two. Now, do I just kill one of yours? Uh, if you can kill at least one of mine. Only because it's a six. And gotcha. I don't want to waste it on a three. Okay, well, let's be reminded. Or that... I kill like this one. I, I hit this one for six, which is on ten. So it needs to be hit for four. Okay, well, I have nothing. I have three plane strikes, but I am in wrath. Did you so... kill one at the end of your turn? Uh, no, I did not. So let's take one damage for being in wrath. Uh, was it, did I have any block? I don't remember now. It doesn't matter. I've taken it. Um, so I am going to hit each thing. So I can do... Uh, I can do, like... Well, actually, I can kill this one. I'm doing four damage each I can hit. kill that one. I've just realised. I've only got still one card to play. Okay. I can kill... Yes. One of, I can one kill of things. So I will hit the large slime for my six. Okay. So it so puts them on four. So that puts him on four. Yes. And then I will do Wild Strike, which for my last one, which hits for four. So it kills that, that large slime. Kills the large slime. Gets um, you a daze. And gets me a daze. So currently now you're getting hit for three, which you can definitely take. Yes. Okay, cool. So yeah, you, I think. If you... I just concentrate on my guys. I'd like to, if you I can. can kill this one. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I can kill my large slime. Who's on 12 life. 
I'd do four damage, and then I'm pretty sure I can do... Well, it does that four. Oh, once per turn, it's just a four, but when you... Oh, that doesn't count to that, does it? No. It's all right, I got it. So, I am going to battle him once per turn, deal two damage plus two if you're in wrath, so I'm going to hit the large slime for four damage, please. That's not it. Yeah. And then, because I'm in wrath, all my de all my attacks do an additional three damage. Nice. So, one energy for a strike. Are we... So I'm hitting I'm hitting the same guy, hitting him for four. Okay, one, two, three, four. That's another four. Yep. And then I'm using wow. another strike to hit him again for four. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, it is. Strike just becomes a four. Yep. And then I've got one. One energy left. One energy left. Uh, oh no, I don't. Oh, you've got some hymns. Uh, I do, but unfortunately... Now's a good time to use them. Yeah, I just... Uh, I can't kill either of my guys. Only one of them's hitting me for two, so I'm alright with that. Uh, I'm going to spend... Guys, that's like. what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend my last energy to play another four damage strike. Yep. And I am going to kill the acid slime that's hitting you for two. Acid slime, kill this one. Okay, so that is all of my energy, and then I'm going to spend my Miracle Token mm -hmm. to play Mental Fortress. Oh, yeah. Which is a power. Yeah. And it says that whenever I switch stances, I gain a block. So I'm not doing that right now, but I could. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I got a status card so that's Don't that it. no i mean i could i was actually contemplating using but using it but i you. might want it for later yeah. so that's so, the end of my turn Get turn. Go. so first enemy on a six he oh we go by mine first technically yeah. so mine is going to hit me for one hit me for one and daze me so put it at the on the top of my draw pile on then the your guy <laughs> Your guy uh, weakens you. Yeah, he does. So that means my next attack does minus one damage. Yes, and then your other guy hits you for two. Okay, so that puts me on three life. And then we roll the dice and draw th oh, three. I get three. So you get three blocks. Nice. Do you have anything that does No, that? not oh, yet. Just, just one. Uh, I've already drawn my cards, but I haven't put my energy up to three. Oh, I need to take one damage for ending my turn and wrath. Puts me on two life. <laughs> Right, uh, um, right. Because I am still in oh, Wrath. Oh, I only got two cards. Wrath is scary. We talked about this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Um, if, if you can kill my okay. acid slime, I can kill everything else if need be. Okay. I am going to, uh, combust. So I will hit any roll for two damage. So I'm going to hit your two. One, two. One. Two, and nice. then they're all on three. That's annoying. Yeah. Well, I will. I only have two cards because I had two dizzies and a slime. Mm -hmm. So I will. Mm, yes, I will use bash, uh, which hits uh, for two energy. One, two, hit for four. Uh, we'll start. Just kill anything. Yeah. 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 Start with the spike. Spike slime. Slime spike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spike slime. Uh, hits for four, which kills it, so it, it would have made it vulnerable. And then I've got a strike plus, which hits for two. One, two, which is kind of annoying. Puts it on one. Puts him on one. Uh, and that's that's it. So then my slime goes into my discard pile, but my two dazes leave me. Yeah, they do. Okay, so uh, it's my turn. I've got three energy, zero block, two life, and I'm weak. <laughs> two life. So... First thing I'm going to do is use Battle Him to deal four damage because I'm in Wrath, which is going to be three damage because of my weak. But that gets rid of my weak. Hits either of those for three. Three damage. That's this one. Boom. He be dead. And I then dead. I will use... Yeah, I'm going to use one. Foreign Influence for two energy. Uh, hits for three. Kills the Acid Slime. And holy moly, Sarah. Wow. We've defeated the Slime Boss. Wow. What do we get Act for that? One. So we get three coin. Because it's the boss, we both get it. Three coin each. Jim, give me two and I'll give you a five. Yes, I do. Excellent. Thank you. Thank I'm you. also going to cash in two to take a five. We, we then get a boss relic. And then a rare. So a hang on one sec. Okay. So 
while we were just looking at that, we've just seen that when you draw relics for in multiplayer games yeah. for elites and for relic rooms, you're supposed to just draw uh, the amount of relics per player. Yeah. And then you pick. Decide who has them. You each pick one. But, I mean. I mean we feel all right with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the boss relics are different. You take one per player plus one, and then you each pick one. Yeah, so we'll have three, and then we decide. So the three okay. are... Here we go. Here's the, the three out. Here's the three. We've got ectoplasm. At the start of your turn, gain an energy, but you can't gain gold. Oh. Holy water. Place, at, uh, place two cubes on this, and you, whenever you, you like, you can remove a cube to gain an energy. Is that like a once it's gone, it's gone? No, no, it's sta so a start of combat. So oh, you keep yeah, you get combat, two yeah. energy you can yeah. use whenever. Or Mark of Pain. At the start of your turn, you gain an energy. So you're always going to have four energy. Uh, but if your HP ever goes above six, it becomes six. Oh. <sighs> That's oh, rough. Really now, know. same with everything in Slade Spike. You don't have to take one of these if hmm. you don't want. Sarah... I'm going to let you play, pick first because there's two that I want. So I'm happy with either. Which one so. don't you want? I am not taking Mark of Pain. Oh, interesting. I don't want Ectoplasm. Okay. I want four energy, but I... like. Yes. Yeah. I want four energy, but what? where do you do it? So for me, my HP never going above six is too scary because of Wrath. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, you know what? It I'm going to take it. I'm going to take Mark of Pain. Okay, I'm going to take oh, ectoplasm. Right, so... Get rid of all your gold. Oh, no, you can't. No, no. I keep the gold I've got, but I can never gain any more gold. That's terrifying. So we also get a gold, a fancy, Ooh, yes. rare, 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 rare card reward. Works the same as the regulars. You draw three rare cards from your rare cards pile, and then you uh, pick one. Oh, I really like... Oh, I mean, I have no choice. I've had to immediately pick because of the build that I've got going on. I've taken Ragnarok, which deals uh, five singular instances of one damage. So one, one, And each one can have a different target. Now, put that together with my yeah it makes it wrath, wrath means all your... of a sudden i can do like much more a whole yeah, like bunch of damage did, like four damage for a one yeah, yeah. but it, it, it does cost three but i've got four energy now and i'm just looking at the upgrade of that it does it six times oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm and then off. i've taken uppercut i really didn't like my other two uppercut it's a two cost attack hits for three and vulnerable and uh, makes vulnerable and weak Yes, so, so there you go. So there you go. That is Act 1. Oh, we are coming back for Act 2 or 3. What yes. a good time that so was. we will heal to full, or in my case, to 6. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, we're going to heal back up and we are going to come back for Act 2. But please, come back. Watch Act 2 and Act 3. Yes. Uh, we are going to be... Are you excited as we are? We are very excited about this. So... Thank you so much for checking this out. Don't forget to uh, check out the channel, like, subscribe, do the things, do the, things, do the stuff. Bye. Bye.